Geo Challenge Basic Level Countries A long time ago, in a Milky Way galaxy far, far away, lies a tiny planet called Earth. On Earth lies a vast array of people from many countries, with many different cultures and languages. Today, we take a journey to discover some of these countries that make up the planet called Earth. There are 195 countries in the world today. In this Geo Challenge, we will be identifying and labeling 20 of those countries. So what is geography? Geography is the study of the Earth's surface, the connections between places, and the relationships between people and their environment. The first country we are going to look at is the United States of America. It is also called USA the US, the United States, or sometimes just America. There are over 321 million people living in the US. It is also the fourth largest country by landmass or area. Within the United States, there are 50 states. The state you live in is California. The city you live in is Merced. Canada is the next country. It lies above the United States. It is the second largest country in the world in total area. Below the United States is Mexico. There are over 130 million people living in Mexico, and it is the largest Spanish-speaking country in the world. Next, we travel to South America to look at its largest country, Brazil. It is the fifth largest country and the only South American country that speaks Portuguese. Recently, Brazil held the Olympics and the last World Cup in 2014. Now we are traveling to the Far East to look at the country, China. China has the most people in the world with over 1.38 billion people. Mandarin, a Chinese dialect, is the most spoken language in the world. China is also home to the giant pandas. Next, we travel to Japan. Japan has the biggest city in the world, Tokyo, which populates over 37 million people alone. Japan is considered an island nation and is made up of 6,852 islands. Japan is the leader in robotics and the birthplace of anime. Now let's travel to Russia. It is the largest country in the world. It is so big that it is part of two continents, Asia and Europe, and has nine different time zones. There are 140 million people living in Russia. Next, we journey to India. It is the second most populated country in the world with more than 1.34 billion people living there. Due to religious beliefs, cows are considered holy. Cows are free to walk around with the people. Australia, our next country, is considered an island continent. Most of the country is covered by a desert known as the Outback. It is also home to kangaroos and koala bears. Now we are going to look at five countries in a region known as the Middle East. The Middle East makes up the northeast part of Africa and the west part of Asia. One of the first countries in the Middle East is Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has a population of over 28 million people. It is also the largest country without a river. It is home to one of the largest camel markets in the world. Next, we are traveling to Iran. Almost half of Iran is covered in desert. It receives less than four inches of precipitation or rain a year. Iran pumps nearly four million barrels of oil each day. Now, let's journey to Egypt. Egypt is mostly made up of desert. The longest river in the world, the Nile, flows through Egypt. Egypt is famous for its pyramids, which are estimated to have been built between 3,000 and 5,000 years ago. Next, we travel to Israel. It is home to more than 8 million people. In Israel, they predominantly speak two languages, Hebrew and Arabic. In between Israel and Jordan is the Dead Sea, which is the lowest point on earth at over 1,300 feet below sea level. Our next country that we will be labeling is Turkey. Turkey populates 80 million people. Istanbul, a city in Turkey, is the only city in the world that spans over two continents. 
It is also home to one of the oldest and biggest malls, the Grand Bazaar, in the world. The mall is over 500 years old and has 4,000 shops. Now we are traveling to the continent of Europe to look at a few countries there. Our first country in Europe is Greece. Ancient Greece is said to have laid the foundation for Western civilization. Thousands of English words come from the Greek language, such as alphabet, apology, academy, marathon, and typhoon. The city of Athens is one of the oldest cities in Europe. People have been living in Athens for over 7,000 years. Next, we travel to Italy. Italy is shaped like a boot. It is the birthplace of the Renaissance, which was the rebirth of art, poetry, painting, and architecture after the Dark Ages. Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo were famous artists over 400 years ago. Now let's travel to France. France has 66 million people living there. France has one of the most famous cities in the world, Paris. Paris is considered the city of love. The Eiffel Tower is a major attraction for people. Now we are going to label Germany. Germany has over 80 million people living there. Germany is credited to have invented the light bulb, cars, the clarinet, the motorcycle, and the jet engine. Next, we travel to Spain. Spain is the origin of the Spanish language. Spain is responsible for spreading the Spanish language and culture to Mexico and South America. It is famous for an event called the Running of the Bulls, which people run through the streets alongside bulls. Finally, we travel to the United Kingdom, which is actually made up of four countries, England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. London, the capital city of England, has over 5 million people living there. More languages are spoken in London than in any other country in the world. One of the most famous bands in the world, the Beatles, originated in England. In closing, our geography shapes who we are. Where we live gives us our language, the types of food we eat, the types of music we listen to, our style of clothing, all the things that make you, you. Now, here's a short video to help us understand how big our world really is. Thank you.